Layla is performing a venous Doppler ultrasound of this male patient's right leg. Venous duplex imaging is used to evaluate blood clots, venous insufficiency, incompetence, or tumor masses that may be obstructing veins. Acute and chronic thrombosis can be differentiated. In addition, this procedure may be used to detect superficial phlebitis and obstruction. Patients at an increased risk for lower extremity peripheral venous disease may include those with a previous deep vein or superficial vein thrombosis, lower extremity trauma, immobilization of an extremity, recent major surgery, prolonged bed rest, history of cancer, family history of DVTs, pregnancy, congestive heart failure, or similar cardiac problems. Venous Dopplers can be performed of the legs or even the upper extremities. Upper extremity venous disease can be caused by recent trauma or recent or past surgery, previous dialysis graft placement or catheter placement, central venous lines or chemotherapy access port insertions, and a history of cancer. Some of the main indications for venous Dopplers are deep vein thrombosis, extremity swelling, vein mapping needed prior to surgery, upper or lower extremity pain, skin discoloration, varicose veins, open leg sores, phlebitis, or edema. Right now, Layla is scanning the patient's right deep venous system, and this would include visualizations of the common femoral vein, the greater saphenous vein, superficial femoral vein, and popliteal vein, as well as profunda veins. It's typically performed using grayscale imaging, comma, color flow imaging, as well as compression techniques. Doppler interrogation of the vessels is performed to show normal phasic venous waveforms and the appearance of the waveforms after augmentation. Right now, Layla was demonstrating color flow and compression technique that is used to visualize the entire course of the deep venous system. Once again, this exam is non-invasive, does not require any patient preparation, is painless, and without the use of any ionizing radiation.